coach, and then we'll take questions for the players first. Coach? I'll give Emco credit. Obviously, they played extremely well today. We, we uh, Our defense today uh, was not good enough uh, to win the game today, and I thought that was the difference. First half, um, you know, they came out, shot the ball extremely well. Felt like in the, the uh, mid to end of the first half, we got a little uh, momentum in our favor. Uh, didn't do a good job of ending the half with the foul and the technical foul. Gave that momentum going on the half. And then the second half, the thing we talked about was just the need to bring energy and understand uh, the opportunity we had and what we needed to be able to bring and, and uh, just the ability to, to focus on the game and not the, the other things that uh, sometimes get in get in the way. Uh, second half, we, we weren't good enough from a defensive standpoint. You look at the results, they shot 52%. Uh, in the second half, they get to the free throw line 19 times, 35 free throws in the game. Uh, you know, they shot the ball extremely well today. It's gonna be tough to win, whether you're home on the road when you deal with those kind of numbers. Thanks, Coach. We're gonna take questions for your players. I guess leave out those last three minutes, it was back and forth and then they pulled away. What went wrong for you guys? Like Coach said, you know, we didn't have the energy or the defensive effort that we needed. Um, what do you think was working for you guys from, from three point line? You guys had a lot of success from back there. Um, that really wasn't our focus. Our focus um, was the defensive end, and we just didn't get the job back there. I guess, Retton, how, how is your hand feeling out there? Vanderbilt operate in many ways that was unexpected. Uh, we just didn't have the, the energy or the effort that we needed. I don't think so. I, I think they, you know, nothing, nothing was a surprise to us that they did today. They had some guys that stepped up, and, and uh, you know, from an offensive standpoint, really made some plays for them. Uh, we were aware of those guys. We just needed to do a better job on them. Another question for you, Levi Red. Right. Yes, Go ahead, take questions for Charles. At the end of the first half, when they called the technical on Cassins, what did you, or did, what kind of explanation did you get on that series? Uh, the official said that, that Mike uh, took the ball and they put it in the space or something. I, I don't really know exactly what happened. I have to watch it on film. Coach, you mentioned the free throws. They shoot 35, you shoot 17. Was that their ability to get the ball into the paint, get it inside, to get those calls? Or skeptical of some of those? Um, you know, I'll have to go back and look at it on film. You know, 35 free throws is a, is a lot, um, especially, uh, you know, a team like Vanderbilt that is, is more of a, of a jump shooting team uh, to come in our building and get 35 free throws. Uh, again, give them credit. They, they were able to, uh, to get what they wanted from an offensive standpoint. They were able to stay in a rhythm. We couldn't get them out of, out of rhythm, whether it was the press, half court, man to man, zone. They were able to find a rhythm. We knew they were obviously, uh, uh, I think they may be uh, the league leader overall in, in field goal percentage. We knew we'd have to be really good from a defensive standpoint. And we, we, we weren't up to the task today. Can you talk about the offensive rebound in the first half, particularly? You guys got on the glass. And like well, it's the, re the reason why we, we have to lead. Uh, I, thought, I thought our guys did a good job with, with the activity and uh, you know being able to, to get second shots and uh, being able to, to get points out of those as well. Uh, you know that's that's a part of the game. It gave us a chance. Uh, the defensive end really what was the difference. There was a couple offensive possessions in the last two or three minutes where y'all turned the ball over. What 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 went wrong on those? I have to go back and look. Look at the plays. Uh, you know, we're we're up one. Uh, they come down. I think they missed one or two shots. Got offensive rebounds. Big three. We didn't get back to our spots. We didn't get back matched up uh, the way we were supposed to defensively. Uh, that hurt us there. Uh, offensively, uh, I don't remember the exact possessions. Uh, I remember a couple of big rebounds that they got in the last four minutes that really hurt us, hurt our ability to, to uh, maybe get out of an attack down and, and uh, kept possessions alive for them. Uh, you know, that's what sticks out right now. I, I have to go back and look at the film. Time for uh, one or two more questions if there are any. Dean Jones on Vanderbilt. 
really kind of led the way for them offensively. What was he doing? He's a really good player. We knew that he'd be uh, a tough matchup for us aside, aside from physicality. And I thought, you know, guys like Matthew Fisher Davis, I thought he was a big difference for them today. He came in and we knew uh, what type of shooter he was. We just did not do a good job of taking away his ability to, to get catch and shoot looks. He got, he got a lot of open looks today, uh, which uh, he was able to, he was able to get him to go. I thought he, he did a really good job for him. I thought, you know, Luke Cornette came in and, and did a really good job for him, whether it was in and around the basket, uh, uh, catch and shoot. You know, I thought those two guys really stepped up for their team today. Damian Jones obviously played extremely well. Uh, you know, he goes six for nine from the free throw line, seven left for 11 from the field. Uh, those are those are really good numbers. But I thought you know their team, some other guys stepped up uh, tonight that we needed to do a better job on as well. What, what do you hope the uh, team might not take from this loss? Do you think it's just kind of finishing better? Or? No, it's, it's 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 February. You know, so right now you know we've got six games uh, that remain, a third of the conference uh, season to play. Uh, this is a, a tough loss. I'm hoping that 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 they are realizing. Uh, you know, the opportunity that was wasted today. Sometimes as young guys, you get in that mode where you just think it's it's just now I got another game tomorrow, I got another game in a couple of days and everything will be okay. Uh, just the urgency that you gotta have. Uh, for some reason, uh, you know, I'll, I'll look at the film. Uh, I didn't feel like we had the urgency uh, that we needed to have uh, to, be able to, to be able to win a game like that today.